Hey guys, it's Young Man JHS here. Today we're going to be talking about how to get the maximum amount of FPS on TerraTech. So I'm covering TerraTech as there's a lot of people that's messaged me and commented saying that they're struggling with it. So I thought I'd do a guide on it. Basically, the best way I can describe TerraTech is it's like spores with vehicles. So um, you'll start off with this really small little vehicle, with one like basically pea shooter of a gun, and then you'll slowly upgrade to become like a massive army. And it's not just one car; you can also have artificial intelligence-controlled cars, so you can basically have a whole fleet fighting with you, and it becomes really, really cool. Um, it's also constantly in development, which I think is just great. There's nothing I love more than seeing an active team. So uh, to make this tutorial, I actually reached out to the TerraTech team and they were kind enough to provide me with a free copy of the game so I can make this guide for you. So definitely go over to their website, uh, Steam, Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, or even the forums and show them some love. I'll leave the links in the description below. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is go down into the description and download my TerraTech Increase FPS pack. Uh, it'll be a zipped folder, so all you've got to do is double click on it and extract. But as you can see, I've already done that here. So there's a couple of things in here that we'll need, but first things first, you want to go to your Steam, go to TerraTech, right click on it, Properties, uh, Disable Steam Overlay, and Disable Desktop Game Fear. Why you want to do this is these are just extra things that run in the background and just slow down your game. So next thing you want to do is go to updates and you want to set this to never allow background downloads. So this basically means um, if Steam needs to update something it won't be doing it in the middle of your play. Uh, you know, because if it does this this can lead to just stuttering because it's trying to download and process your game. So then you want to go to your desktop, go here, type run percent temp percent hit ok and then you want to clear this out I cleared this recently so it's not going to be very much uh, actually I couldn't clear anything but um, you know I've heard of people that have huge huge amounts of temp files here so be sure to delete them all um, some of them you won't be able to delete because they're in use uh, don't worry about that that's normal just leave them as they are okay then you want to come back down here and type control panel type in the top advanced view advanced system settings go to performance type setting uh, don't type settings press settings and then adjust for best performance basically what this will do is it'll make your um, windows look a bit bad but honestly it's worth it just to get that extra FPS then you want to go to advanced and set this to programs instead of background services then the next thing you want to do is go to power, power options, set this to high performance. You may have to um, un unhide this little bit here and it might be there. Then you want to go to change plan settings. Uh, these are personal preference. Um, this just means when your screen will go off. I have mine set at 15 minutes. And then this is when your computer goes to sleep. I have mine set at never. So then you want to go change power settings. And I recommend setting this to zero. Um, by default, it's set to 20 minutes, but it's definitely a lot better on zero. Then you want to go to process power management and make sure these are both at 100. Now, a quick side note I really recommend following my GPU overclocking guide in the top right, that really, really helps get uh, more FPS in game. Then the next thing you want to do is come to the increase FPS pack. You want to go to the Unpark CPU app and you want to run it. You get that horrible noise, you click yes. And then you want to click check status. So I'll give this a minute to load up and I'll see you when it's done. Okay, so now you can see that this is done and it says both uh, CPU cores are parked. So I'm going to unpark all. 
it can take another few minutes and basically what this will do is it'll allow your uh, CPUs to run at maximum power um, it's not a dangerous thing it's not like overclocking where you need to be careful this is completely safe and it's just the best way to get a bit more performance out of your CPUs so while that's going on we were going to go to CC setup get a horrible noise I'm guessing yep there we go we're gonna click yes I already have it installed so I'm not gonna do that and then as you can see now they're unparked so then when that installs you'll have a program called CC cleaner you go to run it run cleaner it'll take a couple minutes So basically what this will do is it will clean out any junk files that you don't really need. As you can see that deleted 6400 megabytes. It's not a lot but considering I it ran this last time about a day and a half ago that is a lot of junk files. So the next thing we want to do is come back to the pack, click on this one, run it as normal, install it and then you get something like this. So then all you want to do is go ahead and scan this and basically what this is doing is checking for any malware in your PC. This could be a big killer of speeds in game because um, malware just really really slows down your computer and it just makes it some games unplayable if you have bad malware. So we're just going to close out of that. You want to let it run and if it has anything you want to clear it. So. The next thing I recommend doing is going back to Steam, right click on Teratech, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, right click on Teratech 164, Properties, Compatibility, and you want to set this to Override High DPI, Scaling Behavior, and Turn Off Run Program as Administrator. Then you want to click Apply and OK. Then the next thing you want to do is come to Google. I'll leave the links to both these down in the description. Um, now depending on if you have an NVIDIA or AMD um, graphics card, this will be different. So basically if you have NVIDIA, you want to come to the NVIDIA link, select what one you have. So say you have a GeForce uh, 1070, so that would be in the 10 series. Uh, and then you would click 1070 and then you search. And that would basically find the driver for you and you just go ahead and download that. Same thing with AMD. So uh, say if you had a Radeon, I assume that is in um, professional graphics. Yeah, Radeon SSG, Radeon Pro, Windows 10 64 bit and this would give you the exact same results. So this would be the driver you download and then you install that and just make sure it's up to date. So and then the next thing you want to do is go ahead and run Teratech. Set this to 648 by 480. Depending on your PC move, you've got a slightly better one, you can set this higher, but we're going for the maximum FPS in this guide. And we want to set this to fastest and you want to make sure it is not windowed. Then you want to hit play and uh, I'll show you the next part in game. So now that we're in game it'll look a bit like this. Um, it'll be quite a small resolution but if you you know really need that FPS then that's what you have to do. You want to go to options, graphics, set this to make sure all this is fastest and you want to turn off depth of field, high dynamic range, ambient occlusion and aliasing. Set the draw distance as low as you can and turn off high quality tire tracks and hit apply. Then basically if we go into game, so now you can see we're getting around 300 FPS which is very very playable. So say if you were in this kind of situation you could definitely up some of the settings. You know see when we get in a gunfight um, we're getting about 180. But the problem with this game comes when you have like a whole fleet of massive techs. So sometimes you might need to, when you start a new game you can maybe have it looking a bit nicer but as you run through it you might need to lower those settings. Anyway guys, if this tutorial helps you out, please leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. Definitely check out Terra Tech on Steam. 
and all the other links I'll leave them below. Just show them some love because they're great developers. They work really hard in the game. But anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one. Oh.